Two former presidents also making headlines this morning, both George W. Bush and Barack Obama, rebuking President Trump without mentioning him by name, sounding the alarm on the deep divisions they see in our country right now. Our senior congressional correspondent, Mary Bruce, is at the White House with a story. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, George. Well, for months, Presidents Obama and Bush have avoided weighing in on the day-to-day -day politics of the Trump administration, but now they're delivering a one-two punch. And while neither of the former presidents mentioned the current president directly, they didn't have to. President Obama is stepping back into the political spotlight and back into the fray. Our politics just seem so divided and so angry and so nasty. At a campaign event overnight in Virginia, the former president never uttered the words Donald Trump, but his target was clear. We've got folks who are deliberately trying to make folks angry, to demonize people who have different ideas, to get the base all riled up because it provides a, a short-term tactical advantage. Also throwing down the gauntlet, George W. Bush in a blistering takedown Thursday. Bigotry seems emboldened. Our politics seems more vulnerable to conspiracy theories and outright fabrication. We've seen our discourse degraded by casual cruelty. At times it can seem like the forces pulling us apart are stronger than the forces binding us together. And he was adamant on some issues there is no wiggle room. Bigotry or white supremacy in any form is blasphemy against the American creed. Now, don't expect this to become a regular thing. President Obama doesn't have any more campaign appearances scheduled for this year, and President Bush George isn't expected to weigh in again anytime soon. And Mary, meantime, last night, late last night in the Senate, they passed that budget, which is an important first step towards getting that tax cut President Trump wants. Yeah, George, overnight Senate Republicans cleared that first major hurdle in their quest to overhaul the nation's tax code late last night, passing a budget resolution. This now paves the way for them to pass tax reform with just a majority vote. This budget now heads over to the House for their approval. Mary Bruce in Washington, thanks very much.